What would happen if we poured all of Earth's water onto the sun? Would it extinguish it? Would it explode the sun? Would it form a black hole? Well, today we're gonna find out. What would happen if we poured all of the Earth's oceans on it? Or even more water? Well, let's find out. I don't think the Earth's water is enough. I That's think they're gonna need a lot more water. close to being enough. Because the sun is how many times bigger than planet Earth? I it's think like it's a like a thousand times bigger, if I not think more. So. Yeah. And it's literally a giant fireball. It's not like some of it's fire. The whole thing is one giant fireball. I'm gonna predict so I, that it would take 10,000 Earth's waters to put out the sun. We would need 1.3 million Earths to fit all of the Earths inside of the sun. Oh all right, my God. all right, Jack, all right, you're getting that way too so scientific. Many. It's a lot bigger than we thought. Holy cow. Let's see what this guy says about it. The universe is a place full of mysteries. Since Ooh. scientists have been arguing what about how that? space works, but none of us has ever doubted the existence of one thing. The sun. The sun. Well, obviously, we can see uh, it. The center of our solar system. Nice, Alec. It's big, bright, Thanks. and immortal? Nah, mm -hmm. not really. Actually, the sun is just an ordinary star. It consists of 75% hydrogen, a little helium, and a pinch of other heavy elements. All right. Gravity holds it all heavy together. Heavy elements. But Look at those in babe. around 5 billion years, the life cycle of the sun will come to an end. Five the hydrogen inside years. it will run out. Our star will begin to grow gradually. And you can't even imagine just how big it will become. And then it will start eating all the nearby planets. What? That's when we'll regret mm -hmm. being so close to How it. How was it going to get that After big? After eating us all, the star will remain a red giant. For a well, luckily, he said, like, what, five billion years? So I think we're chilling. We have five billion years to figure out how to get out of our solar system. I think we can do it. I don't know. I don't know. It's not that what much time, mean? guys. Five it's not billion that much time. years? I don't even think we've been. That's literally one billion more years than four billion years. Wow. Now that you put it that way, I think you're right. That's We're going to be able to do it. Don't even so worry, guys. We have a lot of After time. eating us all, the star will remain a red giant for Sounds another hungry. billion years or so. And then That's crazy. sooner or later, it will begin to shrink and fade turning into a white dwarf. In the end, it bulks and then it cuts. Of it but a bright and colorful planetary nebula. It seems like we should start pouring water on it like now, right? We gotta wait at least a billion more years. Yeah, we, we right. need to figure out yeah. where we can get some this more water. This is a great video actually, because if we find out how much water we need to pour on it, then, then we're chilling. Well, yeah, we can we go need... back to this video and then we can figure it out. Yeah. All we need is a giant fire hose. And okay. just shoot it at it, you know? Okay. That could yeah. work. That could work. Let's see what this guy's saying. That could Maybe work. But a bright and colorful planetary nebula. Maybe. But don't get scared. Right now, the sun is in the middle of its life cycle. It was born about 4.5 billion years ago. Dang, dude. The same Whoa. amount of time remains. Fortunately, we were born during the star's best and most... Let's go! Oh, my nipple. No reason let's to go, work, humans. So okay. let's yeah. find one. How about speeding up the sun's life cycle with the help of water? We'll try to collect all the water on Earth and pour it onto the sun. First, how much water do you think is on Earth? If you guys had to guess right now. Um, Three I'm trillion say, gallons. I'm going to say probably 1.2 trillion tons. Right, so you're what going about by gallons? All right, I'm going to go for five trillion gallons. You're just, you're just saying what? Okay. Oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 120,000 blue whales. I'm going to say 100 trillion gallons of water. 100 wow. trillion. 100 trillion. I forget what I said. All right, let's you go. You said five. I, I said five, how that's many, it? How many quarts is that, Alec? That's like... This this is one gallon. It's one point six sextillion quarts. You guys see how okay. big a gallon is? That's like bigger than my head. So imagine yeah, five so trillion. trillion of those. We need five trillion atom heads yes. worth of water. Oh, now that you put we'll it that way, bucket. probably like Let's three. All the water on Earth and pour it onto the sun. <laughs> First, we'll need a bucket. One bucket. No, not this one. We'll need a really, really big bucket. Huge oh, bucket. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alex, mom size. Three hundred and twenty-six million cubic miles of water. It will be equal in size to the distance from Washington to Chicago. What? Or if we can only find ordinary buckets, there should be around 70 quintillion of them. Oh! This is a number with 18 zero. Do we even have that off. many buckets? Wait, we were we were a little bit off. Just a tiny how, bit off. How many gallons is per in bucket? one bucket? It's gotta be at least a one gallon, right? Let's say one Dude. gallon per bucket. Those look like one gallon buckets. I've never even heard of the number quintillion. I think that's one Alec after only a thinks trillion. of Alex, what'd you say? Sextillion? One point six yeah. sextillion? Okay, so we have we have hundreds here, then we have thousands, then we have millions, then we have billions, trillions, billions, and trillions, then trillions, then, trillions, then, then, then what's that one? What? Sextillions or quintillion? 
Quadrillion. I don't know. Whoever gets oh, past God. a trillion. Oh, oh God. A trillion is such a big number, you never hear any other numbers. 70 quintillion of them. 70 this is a quintillions. number with 18 zeros. That's a whole lot okay. of zeros. Imagine that we magically if you divide got that, that number, many buckets. It's if you divide that number by 70 quintillion, that's how many brain cells Adam has. Adam, can you do that math? 70 quintillion divided by 70 quintillion equals, equals, Adam. He's grabbing his TI-84 calculator. We'll check it back in with Adam later. Time to put out the sun. We splash the star with all this water and nothing? Oh, Nothing? just look at this. The sun has probably felt sorry for us and produced one little solar flare. It turns out that all water on Earth is actually just a pathetic drop for the sun. What? People often underestimate how much bigger the sun really is than our planet. In reality, it can fit more than 1,003,000 Earths. Holy cow. So, yes, That's what I said! The sun won't go out or even get colder. It won't even notice that we've done something. Yeah, That's crazy. We really want the sun to go out for some reason. Wow. What happens if we pour just enough water on it? And how much, how much is, is this that? enough? Remember our quintillions of buckets? Well, yes. we actually need about 370 octillions of them. I don't even know this how big that is. 27 zeros. Oh my wow. gosh. It's hard to even imagine. So let's just say that oh it's a Oh my gosh. Of water. One. Oh. Oh. Is it one? Yeah! Good job, Adam! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. That's, right, how many, back. that's how many brain cells you have. One brain cell. Aww. Let's Aww. splash it all over the sun again. Wow, just look at the steam. But the sun hasn't gone out again. Do you guys think it's going to make obsidian? On the contrary, it said thank you. And oh, suddenly became much bigger One and One giant bright. obsidian block. What's happening? Wait, it gets bigger and brighter? Guys, maybe after this we can make another portal. And like there's a whole new dimension in real life. Did you guys just hear that? Well, I think another portal is actually a black hole, but that's a different conversation. But did you guys just hear that? If we pour, I think it was like 180 octillion buckets of water. Yeah. That we got the sun would get Adam. bigger. It doesn't go out. It gets bigger. It, it embraces it the cold. It eats it's it like it's a big man. It. It's Bulking up from the water. You see, the sun isn't actually a campfire. Inside bonfires, candle flames, there's a chemical combustion. When we pour water on the fire, the water absorbs the heat of the flame and cools it to such an extent oh. that it can no longer maintain the burning reaction. It also blocks the fire's access it. to oxygen. Water basically stops the chemical process. But the burning of the sun isn't the same reaction. Even though we say it burns, it's not oh, entirely yeah. true. What happens there is called nuclear fusion. It's one of the most violent and craziest reactions in the universe. There are many layers of hydrogen going deep into the sun. If you take four hydrogen atoms and ram them together, you're left with an atom of helium. When we talk about the sun, the process is a little more complicated. When the star tries to carry out that fusion, positive protons repel each other. It takes a lot of force and energy to confused. somehow squeeze them together. Fortunately, there's a magical force in space. It's gravity. The sun takes up 99.8% of all the mass of the solar system. All right, Alec, um, can you explain to us what he just said the past minute in your own words? So 99.8% of the sun mm -hmm. is fire. I'm talking and about before water, that. Before no. that. Water, no, you wrong. put water on fire and it extinguishes it, but it doesn't work that way for the sun because you think things come together for the sun. I knew he was. They, they don't do that on Earth. He was not understanding. So, so I think Alec has half the brain cells of Adam. So so water no good against sun. <laughs> water makes sun big. Water makes sun big. Pretty heavy, right? And all this mass is what holds the sun together with the help of an incredible gravitational force. So gravity takes quadrillions of these little hydrogen atoms and pushes them together every second of every day. And when they collide, they release some energy. So unlike Whoa. fire, the sun doesn't need oxygen to live. Mm. Right, there's no oxygen hydrogen. in space. Oh yeah. And we all know that water is H2O. H2O. It two consists two of hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. So this is literally burns the oxygen the and absorbs the hydrogen. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. Oh. More importantly, the extra mass added by water wow. will make the sun heavier. Now, gravity says, thank That's you for crazy. your help. And then it starts to collide protons with each other even faster. Oh my and gosh. thanks to this, the synthesis speeds up.
So the sun is invincible. Like how the would we- The sun starts getting bigger and bigger. How would just we destroy the sun? You Maybe can't. gasoline is its kryptonite. We do the Uno reverse. Can we mute Alec? What is he even talking about? I'm just saying because gasoline works on our planet, but it doesn't there. And water diffuses situations here, but it doesn't there. So Uno reverse. So you want to put gasoline on the sun? He's trying to Uno reverse the sun. Like it's some sort of card game. I don't no understand. No one's tried it before. No one's tried it before. I'm just saying. It could be worth a shot. Maybe Alec is right. Let's watch until no the end No one's tried anything out. before. We haven't gotten close to the sun. The sun incredibly strong, and now it has eaten us, along with other nearby planets. And if we so we're keep all adding dead. water, the sun will sooner or later collapse in on itself. Ooh. It will blow okay. off its outer layers and become a black hole. Awesome. Yes, because it got it too big. Now it will pull inside absolutely oh. everything around. Good job, guys. What? Let's press rewind because we made another portal. our water experiment was You're right, mistake. Adam. Yeah, I was right. We make another portal. If we put too much water onto the sun, it creates a black hole, which is another portal. It's a portal. To somewhere. That's pretty cool. One small solar where. flare sounds much better. All right, we're back to our usual calm sun. But it seems like there's something that we forgot. Well, yeah, apparently, what to us? water was critically important for life on Earth. Who would have thought? <laughs> now, there's a huge amount of unmoving fish and other marine creatures lying around where the oceans used to be. Yeah. Poor thing. And the sun got bigger. As for deep yeah, sea creatures, so they simply didn't withstand such a sharp change in pressure. Algae and corals have also dried up. GGs. Wait a minute. Weren't they responsible for producing 50 to 80% of the world's oxygen? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oops. Yeah. It's time to put on some oxygen masks. And how are things on dry land? I mean, now everything is just land. But you get the point. Wow, this whole place is lit. And I mean it literally. If there are no oceans, then there are no clouds or rain. Now there are forest fires oh, everywhere. Wow. Poor animals have to escape and leave their home. Oh my. That's rough. And it's not like they'll be able to find a new home because all plants, of course, will dry up quickly. There will be literally no place for living left on the- So essentially, isn't that what happened to Mars? I All of the water evaporated and then everything burned, you know, like a couple billion years ago. Was there ever water on Mars? There was, yeah. yeah, they've done tests. It's still there, it's just like deep beneath the surface. Wait, so was there life on Mars? There could have been billions of years ago. We gotta watch a video on that. Leave a like if you wanna see a video on that. That should be learn. pretty cool. That, that's learn. crazy. Are we going we to Mars double right our now? brain cells. I don't know, guys. 20,000 likes and we'll think about it. You love that like goal. You love that 20,000. I do. So now Earth looks like a giant desert. Great. But people have been living in deserts for thousands of years, that right? That is true. Maybe they'll know but what to do. everyone needs water. They won't. And oxygen. After all, people in the desert- Well, Alec, the camels are gonna have water in like their camel back, so we could just use that probably oh, for a true. little bit. Oh, true. We just, we just drink camels pretty much. It's all she camel water. Drink from the camel's humps. Right. Yeah. I love camel yeah. humps. Drink from the hump. To drink. Yes. So now there's total chaos everywhere, and survivors fight for the last drops of water, if there are any survivors at all. In fact, no matter how much they fight for resources, their fate is sealed. The ocean absorbs a huge amount of CO2 and the heat coming from the sun. They also distribute this heat throughout the planet, making it pleasant to live on. But once oh, they're gone, okay. the temperatures will quickly jump to 250 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit that makes sense. and above. We can't survive that. But Alec just we're gonna have to go underground. Sense. That makes sense. If there's no water, that the, it'll get real hot. Alec it'll has not hot. been following anything that's happening in this video. <laughs> it makes sense. Trust me. It makes sense. <laughs> you just gotta trust me. <laughs> Alec knows his just stuff. Just gotta trust me, dude. It makes sense. It just makes sense. Alec is a certified scientist. High temperatures. Now we have no clouds, and they helped us too by not letting through solar radiation. So we're also yep, under the solar direct impact Adam. of the sun's rays. Our last hope is icebergs. Yeah. Now that everything is terribly hot, they've melted. Oh. And maybe they'll be the last hope for humanity. Oh, But cool. that cool solar flare was definitely worth it. Silly humans. Silly humans. Well, moral of the story, we're not going to put water on the sun. And you shouldn't too, because it's a bad idea. If you guys enjoyed that yeah. video and want to see another banger, Click this link right here. Click it. Why are you still here? Click the video. Click it. Click it.